What's going on guys? Welcome to my very first video on my new channel. Uh, I had to make a new channel, so if you're not subscribed already, uh, please do so. Uh, I'm going to be trying to put out daily content, bringing you guys videos on all of the latest, hottest decks, anything that's emerging. Um, also, just, you know, weird off-the-wall stuff. Speaking of which, uh, the deck that we're going to play today is a little bit off the wall. Darkness is a well-known archetype. Um, it's still sort of being flushed out, though. We'll try and figure out what the best versions of the deck are. Um, with the recent emergency patch nerfs happening to a bunch of the Sharima cards, uh, Darkness is looking to get a big boost from that because... Uh, Demacia Sivir and the Sivir decks and Aurelia Zier were some of its worst matchups. And now with those gone, um, Darkness is looking to be even better than it already was. I'm trying out this list that has three Gohards in it. Gohard obviously pairs uh, nicely with Senna. If you've already cast two Gohards and you have a Senna in play, you're able to put uh, your third and fourth Gohard on the stack at fast speed. Uh, and the fourth one will turn into pack your bags. So if your opponent goes to attack you, you can just pack your bags at instant or fast speed, dealing five of their whole board and them. Uh, obviously a huge blowout. That's, you know, probably not going to happen all that often. That's like a, a unique case. But the fact that you can do it, pretty cool. Uh, the deck plays three Pokey Stick, three Go Hard, three Vile Feast. So you're able to deal with a lot of the elusive units that are running around, a lot of the one toughness units. Um, also, just very good at kind of just holding the early game, um, be able to gain life, ping things off. Um, they tend to combo with the darknesses that you'll make from Vigar or Senna uh, or the Acolyte to uh, take down larger units. The Twisted Catalyzer, amazing in these Darkness decks, being able to pump up the damage that your Darknesses are doing is huge. Even just getting it from two to three, three damage kills almost everything relevant in the format uh, that's not massive. And so just that one extra point of damage is really big. So Catalyzer is great. Um, I'm trying out a couple missed calls. You can play the seven drop that brings back a, a champion, um, the Rekindler, uh, which I like. I like the Rekindler a lot. I've been playing the Rekindler in versions that didn't have Go Hard. Um, Miss Call's been really interesting, though, just grabbing back like an Aloof Travelers or even an Acolyte. Uh, sometimes you might grab uh, an Extali Sentinel. Uh, these are things that you just can't do with the Rekindler. Rekindler's only champions. Uh, it's also cheaper at three mana. It's fast speed. There tends to be a lot of different things you can uh, do with the card that ends up being very powerful. We got one Glimpse Beyond in here for good measure. Uh, we have three Aloof Travelers as well and three Hidden Pathways. The deck is able to draw a lot of cards. Um, and in the late game, we have, you know, mini morph to deal with larger units. We have a vengeance, we have a ruination. Um, our late game of Vigar and, and Senna just killing our opponent is fantastic. You're often able to just start hitting your opponent with huge darkness spells, um, right to their nexus. Also comboed with Ixtali Sentinel hitting the nexus. So that's why having all this early game is so useful because it just shuts down a lot of what your opponent is doing in the early game. And then in the mid to late game, we have one of the most powerful decks in the format. We're able to deal with just about anything with many more Vengeance, Ruination, uh, and our champions are absolutely nutty when they get online and start going. So we're jumping some games here. Um, hopefully we don't run into any Sivir Demacia right off the bat. All right, here we go. Um, Lulu Poppy. Is one of our better matchups. Uh, the deck's very powerful. These Rally Elusive decks are kind of nuts. So uh, you can never, you know, count them out, basically. They just get a few units on the board and start rallying, and the game ends real quick. Um, things we want here, lots of early interaction. Go hard, great. Vile Feast, always good against aggressive decks. Uh, Acolyte's awesome. It's a, a warm body and gives us a darkness. Ooh, and another Go hard. All right. 
we're we are uh very close to packing our bags got a pokey stick um so we have a lot of small damage spells uh unfortunately they're not gonna be great at stopping like a poppy or a lulu they're fantastic at stopping two ones though we'll take that all day uh, what we really want to see is some of our more mid-range stuff show up. Um, Aloof Traveler is not bad. The two drop that pumps up our darknesses would have been great. But alas, we do not have it. We'll get it for two. Awesome. They got nothing on two. So we could see a Lulu here, but a Lulu on her own is not the scariest. Or two ones. Love to see it. Now the question is, do we Vile Feast, Go Hard, or Pokey Stick? Or, I mean, technically we could Darkness also, and then we could drop a Vigar, Vagar, next turn. Um, I think we'll just Go Hard, though. Let's get more, more of those Go Hards into our deck, work ourselves up to pack your bags, which is, you know, absolutely insane against these Go Wise strategies. Um, yep, yeah. everyone's fine. Or just give that a pokey stick. Give it a little poke. Well, I keep drawing cards. They might uh, sharp sight here to keep it alive, push a little bit more damage. No, nope, she's not too. Ooh, Ruination, happy to see that. Again, this deck will go wide. If we can get off a good Ruination against them, um, that could just be game. Wow. Drew the Catalyzer, so now we have all kinds of options. I think we just want to get the Catalyzer down, make this darkness up to three. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep clearing stuff out of the way. Like I was saying earlier, all of these ping effects that we have in the deck, really fantastic against um, the Poppy decks, Lulu decks. Um, also, very good against the Nami decks, as they have lots of uh, one toughness elusive units. Uh, so yeah, we'll offer a trade here just to get our darkness up to three. We're happy with that. Also, these uh, challenger units, very good. When you start combining them with Lulu and their four fours and they just start picking off your whole team. Wow, now we got a Senna as well. We have literally just darknesses for forever. No play on their end. I think we just take this. They have eight mana here. They must just have a bunch of spells in their hand. Um, I think we kind of want to play something out, but I think we're just I think we're just happy to take this pass. Let them burn a bunch of mana. We just want to go to the late game. Uh, as long as we can make it there, doing just fine. Let's see, we have nine mana. We can go aloof. We can start with aloof travelers. Their hand's kind of brick, though. I almost don't want to give them more draws. There's a chance we might just, like, rip a unit they just drew out of their hand. Um, we can also hit one of the rally spells. Oh, I do kind of want to get Vigar down and keep these uh, darknesses rolling up. So I think we will just attack, pass it over to them. Hopefully they play a unit, we could darkness it, and then get Vigar down. They're still not playing anything. All right, well, I guess we'll just burn a darkness here. Not the end of the world. We still have... Uh, multiples that we can make. They're still passing. Their hand must be so bricked. Or they're just not, they're just choosing not to play units on our turn to try and play more stuff on their turn, but make a lot of sense. Yeah, they just drew all spells. They just didn't draw enough units. We just killed, we killed everything they played and they just ran out of units, which is definitely something uh, that happens with this deck, just packed full of removal. All right, well, we'll take it. On to the next. I'd love to get against the Nami deck. Those uh, matchups were really fun because both decks just play a bunch of spells. Um, it's not necessarily a great matchup for Darkness uh, just because Nami it just goes so crazy so fast. All right. Um, so this might be the tree deck. Um, which would probably be not as good of a matchup for us. Uh, I think we'll just keep one Vile Feast here. I hit a Teemo or anything else. Um, uh, the Bandle Tree, I think, is uh, what this deck is. 
So unfortunately, they have the alternate win condition of Bandle Tree. We don't really have uh, a lot of great ways to interact with it. Um, I think we'll just get rid of this guy and then drop our Catalyzer next turn. Already, already hidden pathways. Oh yeah, so uh, Go Hard uh, creates three more Go Hards in your deck, which just immediately triggers hidden pathways, which is quite nice. Let's try to draw into some more of those. One of the ways we could definitely steal a win is with a big pack your bags. Withering whales are not exactly what we want here. They do have a bunch of they do have a decent amount of one toughness units. Um we'd really like to be more proactive currently. Alright, we'll trade. Get our darknesses pumped up to that critical three. Maybe if we get a Senna down, then we could kill a Poppy before she can attack. Aloof Travelers. This card is just nuts. Oh, actually, you know what? We could probably hit a Bandal Tree out of their hands. So they're going to go to five next turn, so we'll try and see if we can yoink one. Oh, it was a, a Mini Morph instead. It's too bad. I wonder if that protected their uh, Bandal Tree. So, pick this guy off. I guess we could have gone to the 2 2 and then Withering Whale next turn. That would have worked also. Because this uh, Bandle City Mayor is pretty insane. They just start casting a bunch of stuff for free. Or practically free. Never get two down, basically everything becomes free. Uh, Aloof Travelers, not only does it often rip one of their best cards out of their hand. And draw you a card, but a 3 4 for 4 is extremely relevant. Yeah, okay, looking back, I kind of wish I didn't go hard that one, one and just waited. Taking a hit from Teemo is not the end of the world, but. Wow, okay, here's a uh, go hard number three. I think maybe we'll start with an attack, see what they do. Yeah, I was going to say, they probably just throw this 2-1 in front of it. Ooh, and Aloof Travelers of their own is going to rip a, a Withering Whale out of our hand. Not the end of the world. Um... Now what do we want to do? Let's start with a Catalyzer. Then I think I want to go hard this uh, mayor. Uh, now this guy's beating down pretty hard, though. I think maybe we take him out first. No, tough call. The mayor is so good in these decks. I believe they don't have the Bandle Tree just yet, or they might play it on their next turn. They don't really have to speed it out for any reason. Um... I think they have any defensive spells. They do have like stress defense. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, we'll just ship it. So now we can Withering Whale and Vile Feast or Pokey Stick to take out the mayor. Um, let's see, which one of these do we want? We already have one hidden with a catalyzer. I think we'll go here and then just try to Withering Whale their whole team away. It's possible we can get free hits in with the catalyzer. Um, I just want to draw more cards. We really need to try and find like a, a Vagar. Try and just put this one away. Oh no. Oh no, here's the panel tree. So basically we have like four more turns to live. I love I love this panel tree deck. Um okay, let's start by drawing a few cards. Okay. I think we'll start with an acolyte just because we need to try and push more damage. 
Getting the hit in with Catalyzer is nice. For sure. But... They're at 20, and we're going to die really soon. For this Bandle Tree. But it might even be less than four turns, depending on what they have in their hand, or what they hit off things like Loping Telescope. This deck was running... Um, it's a, I hadn't seen this uh, card before. It's a 5 meta spell that destroys a landmark or summons two multi-region units. Um, and I, I cut it uh, a little while ago. And I wish I had it now. Alright, I guess we just try and push some damage. Pokey stick. All right, you got that spider. They just don't even, they don't really care if we're killing their stuff. Not particularly important to them. They just want to win with this Bandle Tree, which it looks like they're going to be able to do pretty quick here. They draw something good. Ruination, not quite going to do it. Uh, let's see. So, Darknesses are hitting for four now. Probably need to try and... I wonder if we could set up like a Sentinel... Glimpse kind of situation. Uh, and do we... I think we'll do it this way. Man, there's just... This deck just makes so many blockers for forever. Just units on units on units on units. Really tough just to push through, especially for a control deck like this. I don't really care about Poppy that much at this point. You take damage, not a problem. Alright, so they're gonna go up to nine this turn, so they're gonna win on their turn. So we finally drew Vigar. Um, so we're going to hit them for four. Still a long ways away from killing them. Oh, it's this round? Oh, I did not realize that. I guess I've just always cast it on my turn. Well, that's pretty rough. Um, yeah, another darkness. Let's see. Vigar will flip off the next darkness. Too bad we can't play Vigar and pass the darkness. All right, well, gotta try. Trying to hit them for 18, though. I'm not really sure how we're going to manage that. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, well, I guess we're not attacking now. Yeah, over to you. Um, our darknesses will go up to five. The Vigar. Wow! Pack your bags. Don't give me hope, man. If we need, we need like one more turn. Kill an enemy to kill an enemy. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so I think we let that happen. And then we're gonna darkness, and then we're gonna miss call. And then we could hit them for... So we could hit them for 10. Man, if we had one more turn. Let's see. Does Glimpse draw us into anything? I don't think what we could possibly draw. I just don't see it. Um, but we gotta try, so we go. Yeah, it doesn't quite do it. You can pack them. Oh.
Well, this matchup's, I think, just always going to be pretty bad. Like I said, there's there's cards that you could we could play to if you really wanted to beat Bandle Tree. Just for fun. But I mean, one more turn, we probably would have got him. We would have been able to finish them off with Vigar. A oh, GG. Good old Bandle Tree doing Bandle Tree things. Well, it's possible that I might. Maybe like a one of. It's a Yordle Contraption, is the card that I'm talking about. Uh, it's a five mana spell that destroys a landmark or summons two multi region units. I feel like a one of. Just because the deck draws so many cards. If you like full mull for it and then um, just aggressively dig. The problem is, um, I mean, they could just have a second tree and then just put a second tree out and get you. Um, so you still have to be able to close up the game relatively quickly. Uh, we were pretty close there. We got our Gohards going. Um, they're so good at coming up the ground. You have to like get pack your bags, get a decent amount of units, which we don't have that many, onto the board, and then try to kill them that way. Okay, Monte Cristo, what's up? Monte Cristo has been crushing with this deck. Um, this is this is the deck everyone's really hot on right now. Nami Fizz. So, uh, Vigar's not bad. A little bit on the slow side, though. Um, definitely don't want Miscall or Glimpse. Withering Whale is like okay against them. It's pretty slow. They're able to pump up a lot of their unit's toughness. It is one of the ways to get rid of Fizz, though. Uh, but I think we could do better. I'm going to try keeping Vigar. I really like the ability to. Um, Pump up those darkness damages. All right, we got a pokey stick. We got a go hard. We'll hit our hidden pathways. We have a mini morph, which is super important. Basically, Nami hits. You need a mini morph her immediately. Or if you're playing another deck, kill her immediately. Throw everything you have at her because if she doesn't die, you just lose the game. Just done. So they're banking spell mana right now. Everything going into Nami. They're going to use some spells here. Most likely to get rid of that spell mana. Summon two random one cost followers. Okay. Some stuff that we can actually hit. Um, I think start with a go hard. What should we care about? Uh elusives. Oh yeah, we definitely care about elusives. Nami, Nami pretty good at pumping stuff. Get that portal out of here. We can even throw that on Hidden Pathways this turn. I don't mind that. Got some more cards. Buffy's Pokey Stick. Okay, not the worst. Pass over to their turn. Oh, another Go Hard. See, do they have Nami? Starting with the hidden pathways, okay. Oh, they're burst passing over. Uh, let's see. Do they have any way to kill Vigar? I don't think so. We're getting set up. Darkness is gonna start getting bigger. Got a decent amount of removal. Oh, there's Nami. All right, well, we have to try and kill her as fast as humanly possible. Um, so they probably throw in a Waking Sands here. They just Vile Feast this Treasure Seeker, but then they probably don't Waking Sands. They just play another spell and then pump up the Treasure Seeker. It does let us block. Would mean we only have five mana next turn. So this would, our Darkness would deal three. We could darkness pokey stick. Uh, typically, they have ways to keep to protect her, but this is the Bilgewater version. Um, there's so many different versions running around. Bilgewater version doesn't have as many ways uh, to protect Nami. All right, I'm gonna 
pass it, see what they do. We can always, we can always just hit, uh... Hit Nami with a go hard. Alright, I'm gonna pass one more time. They passed us, that's really not... I think we're fine with that. They're not, means they're not hitting us with Fizz. Ooh, go hard number three. Okay, so let's start with... How much I have that Withering Whale now? Um, Actually, I think we want to just try and kill Nami all at once. Maybe with the Vile Feet, just because I kind of want to go hard first. Uh, before I use these pokey sticks. See what they have. Um, I don't think there's too many ways in the Bilgewater version to protect. No, I mean, I'm trying to think of what there could be. They could have the uh, the Yordle card, the Battle City card that makes things a 1 6 Fire Protector. I don't think they normally play it though. Like, kind of too expensive. Really do what they're wanting to do. We're gonna pump up Fizz a bunch, which will be pretty problematic. So, I guess uh, Mini Morph deals with Fizz. Alright, we got one Nami. How many more Namis do they got? The real question. Ooh, Fleet Admiral Shelly, also very good. Oh man, I'm like so tempted to just throw these guards at Fizz. But we don't really need to do that right now. Um, trying to kill Shelly might actually be super relevant. We'll get in for one. All right. Okay, we're okay with this trade. Start with one. Go to another one. Bags are packed. So now, now they have to be really careful. Uh, because if we have another go hard, it's a pack your bags. So... Oh, and there it is. And there it is. Easy game. Like, honestly, this pack just seems fine. So, if they attack right now, I mean, they'll probably play a burst spell and they can just get in with everything. So, I think we just, we'll just pack them. Just get these guys out of here. I mean, a three for one, like sometimes when you're just going to open for damage or you can get like a good three for one or a two for one in like these uh, Fleet Admiral Shelly is like basically a second version of Nami it pumps up the whole team. It's insane. This is super hard to deal with. It's already a four two hasn't even leveled up yet. Like what more do you want? They could very likely play a bunch more units. Uh, but, had we not packed their bags, they probably wouldn't have. Otterpus? Yeah, we're okay with that. Oh, our mini morph costs eight now. Real expensive. Getting, we're getting all the pranks. Be okay with that. Pick a card. Yeah. One thing these decks do really well is uh, draw a lot of cards. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now we can make a lot of darknesses. Uh, how big is our darkness now? I think it's up to four. Uh, let's see. Then this will make it cost two. So four, six, seven, eight. Not the worst. 
throw the pokey stick. We'll just uh, give this guy a little poke. A little poke, no big deal. Hello, friend. He's not doing anything. Give it a poke. All right, we're running back over onto the Gohards. Hmm. We can get Acolyte down. Oh, Darkness is at five already. All their cards are so inconsequential. It's like it's like fighting through quicksand. Whoa, sorry, what is this? When drawn costume grand ally plus two plus one. Pocket aces. Huh. You know what? I think we're okay with that. Keep that otter puss alive. Pass over. Darkness was up to six. Need seven, eight, nine more. Ooh, this this uh miss call uh could be very good. We could just we could block braid. And then we could go darkness, miss call darkness, and it would flip Vigar. Uh, or we could keep it for an Exali Sentinel. Pick off one of these. That seems fine also. Yeah, I just want to flip them. Just flip Vigar. We're going face. Hmm. We want to block. I mean, probably not. We could like put Vigar in front of the three one, and if they pump, we go miss call. But I kind of just want to do this. It's like such a waste to use darkness on these inconsequential units. See, eight mana. Oh, so maybe we could go miss call into a robe maker. It doesn't look like we can. They're double pokey sticking their guy. I guess to prevent to prevent the darkness. Desperate, desperate times. All right. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the most exciting of targets. Also just, uh... Do this, go to our turn. Ooh, with Travelers. Love to see it. Uh, so let's see, two, four. Okay, we have exactly enough mana. Kill this, play a Sentinel, and then play another Darkness. Hopefully they actually play something worth Darknessing. We have a uh, we have a pretty big open. Sorry to come, so they can't just take all this damage. Otherwise, we're going to be able to darkness them out real easy. Double trouble. Okay. Well, I mean, we do want to flip Vigar. Oh, this is a little scary, though. Um, I mean, we could just wait one more turn. <laughs> Probably the play. We could just get in here with these. Uh, 
And I mean, if they don't play anything, then we don't get to hit them for seven. Mm, I guess we should be just Narcissus and hit them for seven. Flip Vigar, I'll go up to eight, hit them in the face. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Um, the scary thing is that they could drop a Nami and just go off. Like they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. So the problem is if we do cast our darkness right now. Oh, they're at eight from our attack. Okay, well now I think we just have to do it. I mean, we're gonna flip Vigar. Vigar? Oh, looks like they're gonna looks like they're gonna kill Vigar somehow. They already used two pokey sticks and now one group shot. I mean, we can just pokey stick them for one. <laughs> Maybe that's more fun. Poke ya. Just poke you to death. Poke, 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 poke. So yeah, as you can see, as I was saying, there's you know so many one toughness units. All the Nami decks. All the uh... yeah, that was good enough. Um... The Nami decks, just so many one toughness units. Uh, the Poppy decks, the Elusive decks, the Lulu decks, um, all of these aggressive decks, even like Pirates. Um, they all just have a bunch of one toughness units. Uh, and this deck's just very good at dealing with them. And then the late game Darkness, as you saw there, is just kind of insane. Um, your end game is just like really hard for anyone to deal with, especially when you have like Risen Mists uh, or ways to recur your units, your champions. Um, you have a bunch of card advantage. Deck's really, really good. Um, it's definitely one that I'm going to be playing a lot, um, I guess, now and right after the, the nerfs actually go live. All right, guys. Uh, well, that's it for today's video. We'll be back again tomorrow and every other day with more videos. So please do me a favor. Click subscribe. If you want more awesome content, go check out Maja Bay. Check out Mastering Terra. Come join us in the Discord. Uh, hit us, check out the Mastering Terra Patreon. We got all kinds of awesome stuff going on for you guys. Um, so with that, as long as you keep a learning mindset, you cannot lose. Peace.